Hi everyone. This is E, the Empty Nester. How are you today? It looks like it's blueberry time. We're going to plant the blueberries that I got from I Am Organic Garden. I've already prepared the soil with a mixture of um, two-thirds the soil from my garden already from my yard and then a mixture of peat moss and compost and a little bit of wood chips. Okay, here's our recipe. One bucket of soil. I'm gonna use half a bucket and half a bucket and half a bucket. About. <laughs> We're just gonna mix this stuff up. This is about as good as I'm gonna get it now to put it back in the hole. And you're gonna just plant these like any other basic. Um, shrub or bush. Let me point the camera down and give you a better look. I've already got the soil mixture and put it in the ground. It's really rich as you can see in organic material. And I've had these sitting in water to absorb some moisture before I get them put in the ground. And look how nice these are. Let's take a little bit closer look at the root structure of this plant before I put it on. It looks nice and healthy, no really root bi binding places, so I really don't have to rough up the roots any. You know, I could a little bit, but it's really not necessary. This one has been taken well, good, you know, good care of. All I have to do is pop it in the ground and it's ready to grow. <laughs> it's leaking. This one's Jersey blueberry. And I've dug the hole about one foot by one foot. And my area is prone to flooding, so I want to make sure that I keep the crown of my berry up a little higher and it would be good if I could put these in raised beds. And for now I'm just going to make sure the soil is raised up around them where water can go off left and right or it actually needs to move that direction. So for now these are just going to be planted like this. Blueberries, their root structure is kind of hairy, kind of fine like this, actually possibly even finer. And they have shallow roots that go down maybe 12 inches at the most. A tap root might go down to 18 inches, but it'll never exceed that amount. So a one, a one foot hole is really good for this. And now all I'll do is get some mulch and put some wood chips around here. If you were in an area that don't get a lot of rain, you might want to create a well around your blueberries where you pack the soil up and the water can stay in a circle area like this. In my area, I get a lot of rain, so I want it, my plant higher and I want the soil to go back like this so that the water runs away from, it goes into the soil, but it runs away from the canes of the plant itself. Since this is the first year for this blueberry, if I were to add sulfur, I would do it right now and just put a um, small amount in a circle around the base of this. Most of the sulfurs are sulfurs um, release over time. They don't immediately go into the soil and change the soil structure. All that's left to do now is to get wood chips around the blueberry bushes. I've got them all planted. And this is aged wood chips from a maple tree. They've been sitting for um, about two years now. I've got a new load in the fall. And look at this. The worms are already at work in the wood chips. And this will create a healthy, happy environment for the worm and for the blueberry. Get him to work in there making 
some worm compost. But you don't want the wood chips directly on the canes themselves. You want it around and in a pile where it slopes. For me, where it's sloping down, you know, the water oak. There's another worm. Look at that, how rich these wood chips are. <laughs> But it's kind of like I'm creating a mound sloping down to run the water off and then there's a little hole right here for the water to go in and water the plant itself. Yeah, little worms at work and with the grass still here, I, all I did was disrupt the one inch, one foot diameter hole and um, I amended it well because of a soil test I did. If you click over here, I don't have it up today, but in the next couple of days, it'll be over there, and you'll see it right here. <laughs> and um, that's how I, t I found information on the internet and took a uh, home soil test to determine that my soil is really high in potash and potassium and low in nitrogen. So in my compost, I have um, cow manure, and um, it should add to the benefit of putting nitrogen into the area and um, I'm going to go ahead and close for now and y'all have a great day and take a look at the video over here.